Happy New Year! Welcome to the Water Tiger Year. Who's ready for change? If you recall, last year I said the Metal Ox Year was going to be all about reminiscing about the past decade. Well, this Water Tiger Year is going to be all about the future. The tiger brings young wood energy. Wood is all about new growth. Young wood is like the tree. Its roots are deep, but its potential is far reaching. So if there was ever a year to start making plans for your future, this is it. Water nourishes wood and allows it to grow, but young water can come in like a tidal wave or a hurricane, sudden, quick, and definitive. The tiger is all about action too, but it's not frantic. It waits for the perfect time to make its move. The tiger is associated with the trigram thunder, also sometimes called lightning. So this year, you can expect the unexpected. Be ready for decisive and sudden action. Everyone wants to know, what's gonna happen this year? Well, the Chinese zodiac cycle repeats every 60 years. So you can look back to 1962 or even 1902 for recurring themes. For example, in 1962, the space race to the moon was heating up. The Cuban Missile Crisis was underway, Beatles released their first single, and Andy Warhol created his famous soup can painting. Get ready to see things we've never seen before that will make a profound impact on history. Also in 1962, President Kennedy proposed his Consumer Bill of Rights. In his speech to the US Congress, he called for a protection of consumers against misleading advertising defective products, and monopolistic practices. The rights that were mentioned included the right to safety, the right to be informed, the right to choose, and the right to be heard. And you can bet this year, the people want to be heard. The tiger is a warrior, but it's also an innovator. Innovation comes through art, new technology, and revolution. This is a year where people will find their voice and they'll make it known. Do we have all the answers and solutions? Not yet. That'll probably come next year, 2023, the year of the rabbit. But you can expect from a lot of people calling for massive changes. You yourself may be ready for change. And if that's true, go for it. This is a good year to ride that momentum. Well, what happens when you're not quite ready for change? With high tides coming and strong winds blowing, you better be in a solid structure at high ground or a great sailor. My patients often hear me say, it's time to start surfing. Is anyone good at surfing their first time out? If you're like me, no, not at all. But if you do fall off your board, you better know how to relax and go with the flow because fighting the current could be your undoing. This is a year to bring in a sense of stability from within. So that can be meditation, grounding, or just making sure that your digestion is good and strong. How's your resilience? How's your flexibility? These are values to consider in the water tiger year and qualities to develop mentally, emotionally, and physically. And are you tired of thinking about your immune system all the time? Me too. I think everyone is, and we'll hear about it. But while the water and wood energy can bring good health and vitality to some people, it can also bring a lot of stress and taxation to others. This is no time to forget what we've learned. Water and wood can bring out the emotions of fear, anxiety, and anger. However, when they're in balance, water and wood can also bring a sense of wisdom and determination. So where do you fall now? Every year, I start looking ahead to these cyclical changes and start preparing my patients mind, body, and spirits for the changes ahead. By studying the Chinese seasonal calendar, we can use the information like an almanac to gauge how patients will thrive or suffer with the incoming elements. Every person has their own unique experience in this lifetime, but by studying how timing, lifestyle, and environmental factors can influence a person, we can gauge what is going to be the best course of action for improving their life experience. If you want to learn more about how to make the most of 2022, book a consult with me. You can go to my website, www.level.com 
acupuncture.com. I wish you good health and blessings in 2022.